This is Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right. Now, as we know, in a whole pile of IT stuff I scored from a mate at his computer business last year, I ended up with a heap of ubiquity stuff. Two security gateways, two 8-port gigabit PoE switches, and two donuts-shaped ubiquity AP light access points. Now, since then, I've been trying to figure out what can I use them for? And I decided, as we know, and I think I mentioned this to you last week, I was going to blow the whole lot away and start from scratch. Now, the re part of the reason behind that was to conform with the holier than thou know it all experts and the global knowledge idiot to disavow myself of everything Unix here at home because I'm not allowed to use it. On Monday, I think it was Monday, I uploaded a short here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech showing you guys the process of installing UCS or Univention Corporate Server 5. Well, straight off the meat of the bat, it did not work. It just would not talk. Didn't matter what I did. Just couldn't get it to work. So I ended up taking a completely different tact and going back to a former network operating system that I'd used in the past. Only this time, I'm finding it much, much better. So, as you can see in the background, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, network server operating system update, ubiquity system update, the whole kit and caboodle, basically. The whole box and dice. Of course, I will cop it from the holier than thou know it all experts, though. You can guarantee it because I did not ask them to do it for me. Which, in their eyes, means my network just does not work. But they still won't accept the fact that it works for me. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. We're kicking Thursdays off here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for it's time for server PC stuff. Morning all, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech to kick off a Thursday. You get the general gist of it. And I want to talk about the new network operating system, my new topology and uh, conform to the final demand of the holier than thou know it all experts and the global knowledge idiot to disavow myself of everything Unix. So open sense is gone, completely gone, just doesn't exist anymore. Even the computer's been trashed of it too. So there's no more Unix here. I'm not having anything Unix. Thus I've conformed with their demands and requirements before they charge me with being, well, using Unix for its unintended purposes. Anyway, now, what I've ended up doing, guys, is I've finally got all my ubiquity stuff in the system. I've got my cloud key, I've got my two A port switches, I've got my two AP lights, and this security gateway, which I've got to tell you works phenomenally well. Now, unfortunately, Net Server wasn't going to work the way I wanted it to with the gateway. Okay, fine. Now, so I wound it back. Now, the network operating system I'm now running, which is doing DHCP, DNS, so on and so forth, is a former network operating system I ran for a while. So I thought, well, well, we'll have a look at the new version. Well, the new version is much better than what I did run. In fact, it's fantastic. Now, at the moment, it's a basic, basic setup. I've still got to do iSCSI for the server. I've still got to set up backups, all that. But as we know, these days... And you can see it here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech on YouTube. I'm time poor. I'm getting these videos out as quickly as I can today before I've got to go to work. But anyway, I went back to a network operating system that I'd used in the past and then spat the dummy with because I ended up, I think, getting those two super micro servers and ended up with Neth server. So no guesses as to the former operating system because if you don't know what it is, then you don't take much notice of old mate's backyard tech, but then again, no one really does. Anyway, um, so the topology of the network has stayed the same. Now, I know when you change your network, or you change your network, you should change your IP tables, your subnet tables, your net masking, your gateways, um, change all of it. CBF. I just kept the same table set up and the same net mask set up. Because, well, A, I'm lazy, as you know, and B, I really couldn't be bothered coming up with an entirely new IP range. 
Now, so that's the network server. As far as the security system's concerned here at home, it's ubiquity. Oh, the security gateway with rules. I know you're all going to want to see the rules, but you're not. Um, I've got my two PoE switches. I've got my two AP lights. One's upstairs, one's down here at the desk. I've got my cloud key down here as well. Now, again, I set it up, which is completely illegal because you've got to get an expert to do it. Because as far as they're concerned, unless they do it, it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you that as well and get it all up and running and operational. Now, I will admit the network topology, according to Ubiquiti, is completely up the spout. It's up the creek without, uh, without a paddle, honestly. But um, that's just a case of reboot. Unfortunately, though, with the other half, is doing some study at the moment. So I don't really have a lot of time to blow the whole lot away and start again. But anyway, let's go to Firefox and I'll bring up both my gateway, uh, my ubiquity system and uh, a quick sticky peek at the network operating system I'm running. All right, so here's my ubiquity system. As you can see, I have a cloud key. That's not showing up. Hang on a tick. <laughs> there it is. All right. So I've got a cloud key and obviously it's a security gateway, as you can see, only the two ports are running at the moment. The third port will be the administration side of the next video we're going to talk about after this one. So this is my entire Ubiquiti system, all right? Unfortunately, the topology is completely wrong because I can tell you now, this, the media PC is actually off this switch. The cloud keys off this switch. My main PC and Plex are off this switch. And this access point, and I'm not sure what that is. I have no idea. And obviously the NAS. Yeah. Um, off here, though, this switch up here is actually upstairs. And the media PC should be coming off this switch, but it's not. I don't know why and obviously the bedroom PC. So that's the topology. They're all adopted. As you can see, I've adopted them all with my own um, cloud key account from Ubiquity. And uh, pretty heavy. As you can see, 5.64 down so far since I got everything set up yesterday. All right. So, but I'm happy with it. It runs really well. Now, have I noticed a difference between this setup and my old OpenSense Net server setup? No, not exactly. Maybe slightly quicker in the caching, maybe slightly quicker in the access times, but overall, not a big difference at all, to be brutally honest. All right? So there's the Ubiquity system. And... Um, the next video we'll do after this, as I said, will involve this port and my new storage grid system, my new iSCSI system. So we'll talk about that shortly. But as far as Ubiquity is concerned, it's all set up. It's set up to suit me, which, as we know, I didn't get a whole and now know what all expert to do it. So they're going to be howling on me because they're going to basically say it doesn't work. Nothing's working. Your entire network has failed. Well, it hasn't because if it had, I wouldn't be able to do anything. So there's the Ubiquity system, which I'm happy with. And remember, I got given all this stuff. It's really nice. I'm, I'm so thankful to my mate at his computer business. It's not funny. Now, the second tab open here in Firefox. What is it? Well, I've gone back to Zentiel. Now, the reason I've done that is Net Server wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. And UCS did not work. It had installed, I could talk to the internet from the server. I got the DACP running, I got the DNS running, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole shoot and match, and no appearance of worship. No computer around the entire house could get out. So I thought, this is not going to be any good. I, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. So I went back to Zentiel. So let's log into Zentiel. Now, the problem with Zentiel is it's a little slow. 
Well, I'm not going to do that because this is the development version or the free version, I should mention. And it works very well. All right. Now, you can see here I've got the DHCP and DNS running. Um, the networks, everything's running. All right. I have got some firewall rules in, but they're just local rules. All the firewall rules for external are actually in the gateway. All right. I know you want to see them. You're not seeing them. So as far as the DNS is concerned, as I said, the, it is a little slow. I am on 70, uh, what's that? 705. I've upgraded to. The DNS will load, but I don't think it will. There it is. And you can see there, new DNS. I've still got to put in the forwarders. All right, I haven't done that yet. As far as software management, or module, yeah, software management, there's still a few things I need to install. Okay, not a lot, but there are a few. So that's what's there at the moment. Well, not there, I should say. I do need another iSCSI system for it. I've got to find that. It'll be there somewhere, I assume. Um... These are the components that need updating. Again, I'll figure that out at a later date. Um, but I do need um, iSCSI and a few other bits and pieces for Zentil. So it's all up and running now. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and, and say I should have stuck with Zentil. But unfortunately, in this scenario I'm in now, this works better, okay? I know it's the development version, it's the free version. You run the risk of modules not working properly. I get it, but it'll do, and it'll do it beautifully. The interesting thing about it was it took to that super micro server like a duck takes to water. I had no problem. Now, I have got SDA as a 128 gig SSD, all right? So SDA is a 128 gig SSD. The other three drives that are in it are 500 gig mechanicals. I want to set them up as NAS and iSCSI, or at least one of them is iSCSI. The other two is just general server NAS, all right? Outside of the existing storage grid that I will be setting up. I'll talk about that later. So there it is, pretty happy. Um, it all works well. Um, we've got, well, nothing really going in and out at the moment. And, uh, seems to, seems to do what I want it to do. And relatively easily. Uh, the new version 7 is actually really good. Strangely enough, I think I ran version 5 or version 4 years ago. But this new version works very well. Very well indeed. So we're back to Zentil. We've got a full Ubiquiti setup. And as far as I'm concerned, because I did it myself, I knew the topology I was after. Remember, I have to justify things. I knew the topology I wanted. I knew the level of security I wanted. I knew how I wanted my network to be set up to suit me and, of course, to suit the other half. This actually works reasonably well. Now, is it the right way of doing it? No, it's definitely not. I would not advise anyone to do it the way I've done it. But it suits the way I have the cabinet set up, the way I have the desk set up, the way I have upstairs set up, the way I have the bedroom set up. All right, it works for me. Now, it's, it, it, it won't work for everybody, and I doubt anyone will actually think that the way this network is set up is proper. It's not. You know, I've got Cat5 leads running all over the place. I've got PoE switches all over the place. I've got access points all over the place. So the physical layout of the network is a complete hodgepodge, but it works. So the other half's happy because she's got, you know, good streaming now. And so both the plasma TV and the um, her laptop are working like a dream. The main rig and Plex work for me. The Our lounge room setup works for me. The bedroom works. I don't personally see an issue with it. 
other than I never got a wholly or no expert at all the global knowledge idiot to do it as per their settings. And I've conformed to the requests or demands of disavowing myself of everything Unix. There we go. New server OS, new topology. Job done. And I'm happy with it. So that's the best I can be. There we are. Stick around. Up next, the new storage grid system here at Old Mates. And it's not just for me either. The other half's going to have eh, a little bit more storage than she had in the past. Got to always keep your other half happy. Otherwise, we know what can happen, don't we all? That's next. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.